Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're talking about Yellow Jackets episode 6 titled Saints. It's a really good episode. Before we go into it, please make sure you like this video. If you guys end up enjoying it, please make sure to subscribe if you're new. But let's just get right into this. So the episode begins with a quick flashback for Lottie. We see her as a little girl in the back seat of her parents' car. All of a sudden, while waiting at a red light, she just starts screaming. Uh, because of this scream, it distracts her parents enough to where they don't move from the red light once it turns green and they avoid a car crash. And so the mother thinks that maybe Lottie's able to see the future while the father sort of rejects this and says that she needs therapy. And so now back on the island in 1996, we see present day Lottie or 1996 Lottie and she has some more visions. She sees a vision of a deer with bloodied antlers. Uh, this is obviously a big foreshadow to what's to come towards the end of the episode, but we'll get to that eventually. So we then get a scene between Ty and Vaughn who it seems like they have some late night meetups, you know, they're naked in the water. Uh, whatever. Uh, Ty wants to maybe like leave the group and explore some of the island, uh, but Vaughn convinces her not to. When they go back to the cabin, we see Shauna wake up from one of her nightmares, which is a really weird scene where she gives birth to a, like a chicken and then she starts eating the chicken. Uh, super weird, but like the sound was like really good in this scene. It was very like this ominous, creepy tone. And throughout this whole episode, you sort of feel that. And I love that creepy tone to this show. Uh, another quick thing I want to point out before we continue is that uh, the theme song for this show, the intro, that 90s aggression, uh, it's starting to grow me more and more. Like that actual theme is really great. I just want to point that out. So moving on, it's also here when we find out that uh, Shauna's baby, the father is Jeff, right? So we all sort of probably knew that that was the case. Uh, we all know that Jeff is currently dating Jackie. Um, Shauna feels super guilty about this as we see throughout this episode in the woods. And uh, she also contemplates maybe having an abortion. Uh, but at this part of the show uh, that I'm recapping, she's just contemplating yet. But as we'll see in the future, uh, she might actually go through with it. Also adding to Shauna's guilt is the fact that when Shauna and Jackie were walking in the woods, Jackie reveals that Jeff actually told Jackie that he is in love with her before she left. Jackie wasn't able to say it back to him because she honestly doesn't even know if she does. Uh, but the fact that Jeff says this and now Shauna knows it just adds more of that guilt onto her. And so while we're on the topic of all these relationships, let's talk about the big one that sort of happens in this episode. We see Travis and Nat, uh, some very, you know, awkward, trying to do some sex scenes between them that were pretty comical at times, uh, and then also get sort of serious towards the end. Um, but in the first one that we see, we see them kissing in the wreckage of the plane. Uh, you know, it doesn't end up going too far. They head back to the camp. Uh, some of the girls just like ooh and ah at them as they see that they're starting to like each other. Uh, but the one person who doesn't really care for their relationship is Jackie. She sort of calls them out, especially Nat, saying that uh, they should be hunting more and not, you know, you know, kissing, whatever she says. And we see Nat and Jackie sort of butt heads over this. And, uh, you know, I mean, Jackie, I thought she wasn't really supposed to be pulling her weight. Uh, so I don't know what kind of ground she has to just start calling Nat out for not pulling her own weight. Uh, so I can see that there's gonna be some more tension there, right? And so this conflict here makes me wonder if we're definitely gonna see some sort of like fight for power going on between these girls at some point in this show. Um, and as we see um, Lottie, she wants some advice on her visions. So she goes to Laura, who's sort of like, you know, the spiritual uh, person on the island, right? I mean, on, on, in the forest, sorry. And, um, and I just wonder if you guys ever seen the movie, uh, The Mist, I think 2007 it came out. If you if you seen it, you know what I'm talking about. There's a, there's a part or there's a, a concept in the movie where like the main religious person uh, just starts preaching about God and everything, and people start to follow her, and she becomes like the leader of the group because all these premonitions and all these the spiritual stuff that's happening that they can't explain, it can only be explained by you know God or some sort of supernatural being, right? And so I wonder if this supernatural stuff continues with Lottie and Laura, and Lottie is seen as this like saving grace spiritual messiah figure uh if that could play into this you know and we could see lottie and laura maybe like becoming leaders of this while you know jackie or nat or some others sort of like pull away from that just a little dynamic i'm throwing out there i don't know if that's going to happen in the show but i think it would be sort of interesting to see that and so um laura so lottie goes to laura uh laura does like this baptism thing with lottie and uh while she's being baptized underneath the water uh, she enters another vision and so in this vision we see that she sees the deer again uh, she lights some candles and when she comes back she says that she saw some form of the holy spirit and so after this we go back to nat and travis who are trying to go at it once again with the, you know kissing and then travis is just he's a young dumb stupid kid and he asks nat 
uh, like what's her number, like how many guys has she been with. Uh, Nat takes offense to this and just starts lashing out at Travis uh, until she learns that Travis is also a, a virgin. So she sort of, uh, you know, doesn't feel bad, uh, I guess is more sympathetic towards him. And then we learn that Nat uh, isn't a virgin. Her body counts like two. This didn't really seem that important, this this scene or, or what they were talking about. Uh, just something like thrown in there that I thought was like fine. But most importantly is what happens after this. They hear some rustling outside. Uh, we don't see what they actually see, but it is the deer as we see them bring the deer back to the camp. Uh, Lottie notices that the deer has some bloodied up antlers, which is what she's been seeing in the visions, right? And so when they cut open the deer, they find a bunch of maggots in there. And uh, this is like the last straw for Ty, and uh, she sort of walks away and says that she's going to try and find some help. Okay, so now picking up in present day for a second, we see that Shauna is meeting up with Thaisa and Nat, right? They're meeting up. We find out that Shauna never actually received an envelope, and um, Nat believes that Jessica might be the one behind all this, you know, the text messages, the postcards, all that stuff. Uh, and she says that we should just call up Jessica and bring her over here. But Shauna has a different plan. She wants to maybe give her... Uh, the 50000 or whoever this person is, uh, the $50,000, and place a tracker in there so that they can find out where this person is and where that money is going, because that will lead them to who's behind all this, right? And so Sean is not only de dealing with guilt in the past, but in the present, she still feels that guilt of Jackie. We see that her and Jeff visit Jackie's parents, I guess, every year for the anniversary of her death. And, uh, you know, there's a couple of good flashback scenes in here, or not flashbacks, but good vision scenes where uh, Shauna continues to have some visions of Jackie. Um, you know, this all leads to uh, them sitting at the dinner, and Jeff admits that he was with Shauna uh, while he was dating Jackie to Jackie's parents. So meanwhile, while this is going on, uh, Ty is bringing Sammy to a therapist, right? Sammy's been creepy and weird this whole show. She brings him to a therapist. The therapist confirms that there is something wrong with him and that it could be from some too much stress, right? Uh, Ty sort of scoffs at this idea and denies this claim from the therapist, saying that, you know, therapists live off uh, unsolved problems. So now with Nat, we see that Nat and Kevin are getting closer. They're, you know, they're fooling around the hotel room. Uh, Misty is, is wash it's washing their hotel room. She continues to be like such a weird character, but so much fun to watch in her, in her weirdness. And she's like surrounded by pills uh, she's watching them in the laptop and then she makes a call to Jessica and plans for a meetup that night. And so while they're talking, Misty says out a line saying that her plan isn't working, talking about Jessica. And Jessica replies and says, my plan? So now this is where the pills come into play because right after this, Misty uses a syringe that I guess is like a mix up of those pills and she puts it into Jessica's knee and knocks her out. Uh, as Jessica wakes up, she's tied to the bed that Misty was in, the room that we just saw that Misty was in with the computer rooms and all that stuff. Jessica's now tied up to that bed and uh, Misty wishes her a good night and closes like the basement door. And so as the episode closes out, we see, uh, we finally get to see who the woman in the tree is that Sammy's been seeing, right? And uh, it's Ty, it's, it's, it's his mom, Ty. Uh, she's like eating some dirt or whatever she's doing. She's She's like in the tree, her hand is like half bitten off. She sort of like wakes up out of like whatever like funk she was just in. Like she obviously uh, has something wrong with her. It's where she's, you know, moving around without her actually knowing it. It's like a sleepwalking thing or something, right? And so she like gets out of it. She wakes up to a text from Nat saying that the blackmailer wants to have a meetup at 2 a.m. Uh, and, and that's how the episode ends. And so I know I throw a lot of theories out to you guys. Uh, I think last episode I did throw out that Ty might have been the one that could be the woman in the tree. I think I threw out two theories. I said I think maybe it could be Misty or it could be Ty and she's like moving around without her, you know, her actually knowing, like a sleepwalking thing. And that turns out to be the case here. And so my quick rating for this episode overall is a 3.3 out of 5. I did think it was really good. I know there are a couple of scenes that I didn't talk about. Uh, the big one was Shauna's, uh, you know, uh, failed abortion like she tried to abort her baby with the help of Ty uh, she just couldn't go through with it because uh, she didn't want to kill the baby right uh, there's also another scene where coach Ben talks to Travis about you know wearing condoms and that uh, the girls and everyone there at the camp can't take care of a baby right now so make sure I have to wrap up um, so those two I didn't think were too important like the baby one's pretty important right uh, but moving on one of the main things I liked about this episode was uh, more continuation with Lottie see more of her visions, uh, going to Laura, tying in her supernatural visions with Laura's uh, character being so religious. 
I'd like to see those two coming together, having some good conversations, and uh, and then playing around with the supernatural stuff more. I think I sort of chalked it up as you know her not being on her meds. I still think that's the case, but I like that they're playing into that. And maybe the other girls could also believe uh, that that uh, that Lottie is some sort of person that can see into the future, and Laura can back her up with those claims. Uh, you know, um, pairing it up with God and everything. I think it could be a good you know a good element to the show. Obviously, uh, I think this had the best ending to, to any of the episode, uh, seeing Ty, uh, it being revealed that she's the woman in the tree. Uh, super cool. I, I love it. And, you know, she's been having some weird visions and she's obviously not all there. So it plays well into the fact that she is the one who's who's causing Sam to maybe do all this stuff and doing like, you know, she's self-corrupting her own political campaign uh, by having Sammy maybe write spill or whatever the hell, you know, whoever wrote that. Um, which was probably Sammy, but it was because the woman in the tree. But she looks just like herself. Like, she's a little bit wild. Her, you know, she's like a crazy look in her eyes. Her hair is all wild. But I feel like Sammy should still be able to recognize her as his mom instead of referencing her as just the woman in the tree. Um, but I guess it's not that big of a deal. Um, but so as we get that big question answered, there's still a lot to be answered in the show. Uh, just want to tell you guys right now, the show did get confirmed to be renewed for a season two. So we're not going to get all the answers in this season like we thought. Uh, but I'm super happy to see that the show's getting another season. I think it deserves it. I think it's it's not. Um, it, I think it could be great. I don't think this episode was like was really great. I thought it was good. Uh, definitely better than the last two in, in a lot of big ways as we continue some of the plot forward and we get to answer some more questions while also raising some more questions. Uh, obviously, the big question about who's behind everything with the postcards and who's blackmailing them. We didn't get too many uh, hints besides Misty. I said it last episode. I said I do think it's Misty. I know it's the obvious choice. I know that the show is just throwing that at us, trying to make it seem like it is Misty when obviously it isn't. But I honestly have no other theories besides it's someone from the island who we think is dead, uh, who isn't, and who's playing with them. And there only really is one choice to who that could be, and it's Jackie, right? Um, but as we saw with this whole anniversary dinner thing, uh, Jackie's supposed to be dead. Um, obviously, she could come back and, and play some sort of part in this. Um, but for right now, because I don't really have any other theories, I'm going to stick with my gut and say that the show is not going to get too confusing on us and that it is actually Misty behind everything. Just my personal theory. But as we saw in this episode, she's doing some more shady stuff. You know, she's tying up the, the reporter. She's she's uh, still watching Nat. Um, obviously, she's weird, so it just could be um, all in my head, but I do think that she's still behind it all. But let me know what you guys think on this episode. Did you guys love it? Did you enjoy it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Um, any more theories on who's behind it all or any other things that I missed, please let me know down below. If you guys end up enjoying this video, please make sure you like this. Please make sure you subscribe if you're new. Uh, but that's it. Have a great rest of the day. I will see you on the next video.